How's it going, YouTube? LTX Prisco here. So, I mentioned in my uh, Battles of Legend box opening video that I have a pure Blackwing deck that I've been working on. And, uh, I think I got it. I think I got it down. It's still in the works. I got. I still got to make room for hand traps. But for right now, I've got it to the point where I can go first, no problem. Um, now I'm trying to figure out what excess fat to cut so that I can go second and still stand a chance in today's meta. So I got the deck right here in front of me. I'm shuffling it up. I don't know why. I had it sorted. Might as well keep shuffling while I'm talking though. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Uh, yeah, roll the intro. Okay, so I've got the deck right here, ready to go. Uh, one thing before I get started. This is not your typical Blackwing deck where I'm going to be using a lot of synchros. Um, and, you know, like Rikiri the Rain and uh, so on and so forth. This one is more so for a barrier lock, but um, going for a slightly more consistent build. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started First off we've got three copies of Oster the, the Southwind now granted if you perchance Want to play the synchro version Then three of these is really not needed uh, and I'll tell you why in just a second once I grab this. Should have had this ready. But cards like Simoon of the Poison Wind can kind of turbo this out um, as well as allow you to use its uh, effect to summon from the Banish Pile. But, it locks you into Dark Monsters from the extra deck. And in this version, we go into other things other than Dark Monsters. So, this is good for like a go second OTK kind of version. But in this version, it is not. So, we'll put that to the side. Um, now, if you don't know what Oster the Southwind does, it reads... Cannot be special summoned. And when this card is normal summoned, you can target one of your banished level 4 or lower Blackwing monsters and special summon it in defense position. So, that's the effect that I usually use off of this. So, this in combination with any of the level 4s, um, as well as Allure of Darkness, uh, can get you full combo. Speaking of the level 4s, we are playing 3 copies of Bora the Spear. Um, a non once per turn special summon if you control another black wing monster and we are also playing three copies of Chris the crack of dawn now I got the other two copies in uh, Battles of Legend Armageddon um, as you can see I only have the one secret here but I was only playing one before because it's not once per turn but I realized that this can also be a great normal summon just simply because of how high its attack is if you open up this with black whirlwind you still have full combo um so going for max consistency we want to see this um not all three at the same time but you know what i mean next we are playing three copies of gale the whirlwind this is a level three tuner um, that is also not a once per turn, or not a hard once per turn, to special summon it to the field if you control another Blackwing monster. 
Um, it's also um, pretty strong in general because you can just normal summon it, use its effect to half the attack of one really problematic monster that your opponent controls and then attack over it. Next we are playing two copies of Harmont in the Dust. Um, this is like pretty cool I would say um, because this plus this is a Boiled Savage Dragon uh, but also that plus um, also the south wind is your full armor master uh, so it's pretty good because it, when you special summon it although it is a once per turn you can special summon it and then target special summon it and then target one of your black wing monsters um, that you have on the field and increase its level by the level of that monster so it's pretty cool uh, and then for the one of I'm playing one black wing Zephyros the elite um, I always think about whether I want to bump it up or not, because sometimes seeing it in my hand really hurts, but I always find a way around it, so um, I keep it at one for now. I'm also playing one Raid Raptor Singin' Lanius, um, special summon itself out for free if you control an XC's monster, so you search this off of uh, Y Strix, or not Y Strix, uh, Force Strix, and um, it's a level 4, so it's pretty, pretty good. Um, next... For the rest of the Darkwing Beast Monsters, I'm playing one copy of Smorg of Darkness, because you can summon this off of the Smorg Link, um, and it's an inherent uh, spell and trap negate, because it can tribute itself off the field to negate the activation of a spell or trap card. It was pretty good. Um, and then, to round off the Darkwing Beast Monsters, I am playing three copies of Didi Crow, and that's kind of only because I'm playing the Lore of Darkness and I needed some more dark targets. Um, this could also be like a dark kaiju or any hand trap that you want, um, but I just like DD Crow because it kind of matches the theme. Um, and then for extenders, I'm playing three copies of Parallel Exceed because this card is absolutely bonkers and you always want to see this in your hand. And then the final three monsters, I am playing one copy of Jet Synchron, one copy of Mecha Phantom Beast O-Line, and one Barrier Statue of the Stormwind. So if you've watched any of my uh, hybrid videos of this mixed with Time Thief, you know that this build is pretty similar. Um, but I decided to steer away from Time Thiefs just for a little while because I'm trying to expand my horizons and play some new things. Although I am working on a uh, Numeron time thief build just because it's, it's kind of fun if you want to see it like the video um but that's pretty much it for the uh for the monsters here uh for the spells we're playing three copies of black whirlwind this is pretty standard um you kind of need to play these because it's not once per turn, so if you activate more than one and you normal summon something, you pretty much search out your entire deck, which is really good. Um, we're also playing three copies of tuning because um, sometimes we want to see that uh, Jet Sync run in our hand, and because I only own one, might as well play four. <laughs> uh, either way, I don't have room for six, so I guess this is fine. Move these up a little bit more so they can be centered. Uh, next, I'm playing three copies of Allure Darkness, just a generic draw card for dark decks. And it's really good um, in, in uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In combination with Austria Southland, because you can just banish something and then summon it right back. It's pretty good. Um, and then to round off the spells, I'm playing one copy of Soul Shade Force and one copy of Foolish Burial. So, um, for the traps, I'm not playing too much. Um, I'm only playing three, and it's literally just three different trap holes. We got Grave Jiggers trap hole, Floodgate trap hole, and Network trap hole. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the reason for these is um, one, this is really good against Nibiru. Two, this is really good generically, and three, this really fucks up Eldritch. So yeah, why not? Next, the extra deck. So we're playing. One copy of Link Karibo, one copy of Wise Tricks, one copy of Barricade Board Blocker, 
one copy of Christron Talca Fibrax, one copy of IP Mascarena. Move these over a little bit more so they can be centered. It looks good. One Samord Bird of Sovereignty, one Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn. For the Synchros, we're playing one Herald of the Arclight and one Borlode Savage Dragon. And we're also playing one Black Armor, a Black Wing Full Armor Master. For the XC's monsters, I'm playing two copies of Force Tricks, one Rafflesia, one Abyss Dweller, and one Cyber Dragon Infinity. So that pretty much rounds off the extra deck. I am going to do a combo tutorial that can pretty much end on a uh, pretty, pretty ridiculous board. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all the cards that I need for it. It is uh, technically a two card combo, um, but you do need uh, one extender and one card to discard in hand. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and show you that. Okay, so for this combo, you're going to need Jet Synchron or Tuning, Parallel Exceed, um, one level four extender, for this I chose Chris the Crack Dawn, and we need uh, two random cards just to have our hand. One of them is for a discard. So let's shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <clears throat> let's see what we got. That's perfect. I'm not going to be using these anyway. Alright. So, put these off to the side. First, we're going to start off by normal summoning Jack Synchron. Immediately uh, link it off into Link Karibo. And then go ahead and trigger off Parallel Exceed. Parallel Exceed's effect's going to activate. And we'll get a second copy of it. <coughs> Right here, we'll go into uh, Force Strix, <clears throat> use Force Strix effects, and detach. We could put the Force Strix anywhere, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we'll detach and we'll go ahead and search for our Singin' Lanius. <clears throat> Special summon a Singin' Lanius, and then link these two off. Into our Y Strix. Y Strix effect is going to activate. And now we can go ahead and summon out our Zephyros. So, if you've watched any of my videos, this looks pretty familiar, besides Link Karibo. So, now we use our level 4 extender, especially summon Chris the Kraken down here. At this point, we can go ahead and use Jet Synchron's effect to special summon itself out by discarding one of our other cards in hand. And how we do this next part can alter how you're going to set up your board. Um, we can either go into our Force Tricks, or second Force Tricks, and then trigger off Y Tricks, or we can go into Needle Fiber. For this version, we're going to go into Needle Fiber. So we're going to banish the Jet Synchron. Link Karibo. <clears throat> Go into Hawk Fibrax. Hawk Fibrax effect is going to activate. And uh, I actually messed up this combo. One second. Okay, so when doing the deck profile, <clears throat> this card was supposed to be in there as well, but uh, while going through the cards, I actually dropped. The, uh, some of the cards out of my hand and I didn't realize I left this on the floor but pretty much um, we're gonna summon this out of the deck okay um, and yes it's a 41 card build um, and then immediately before we go into Aurora down here we'll start continuing with this part of the combo go into our second four strips Use this Force Tricks effect to detach the Zephyros. <clears throat> um, and we can search out our Bore of the Spear here. Now, Wise Tricks uh, effect is going to activate. 
and we'll grab Soul Shade Force and set it to the field. <coughs> Now we can link off these two and go into our some more Bird of Sovereignty. This Bora doesn't really matter entirely, <clears throat> but it is in your hand now with uh, whatever this is. Um, if you have something that you can bounce, if you have like other extenders, if you have something you can bounce for Zephyros, you can get another rank four on the field. Um, so now we can go ahead and activate Soul Shave Force, pay half our life points, <clears throat> get our Force Tricks out, and go directly into CDI. Next, we can do this and go into Aurora Dawn. I fucked up. Don't do this yet. Don't do this yet, okay? We're going to put that there. Go into Aurora Dawn, right, and uh, get your tokens. I don't have tokens next to me for some reason, so we're going to just use empty sleeves. One, two, three. Uh, use Aurora Dawn's effect to tribute off one of the tokens and itself. Oh, before we do that, man, I'm fucking up. It's really late, and I'm really tired. When the tokens are summoned, Despot uh, 001's going to come back out. So... Now we use Aurora Dawn's effect, tribute itself, and one of the tokens. We're gonna grab the O line. Use the O line and the other two tokens to go into your Borlo Savage Dragon. <clears throat> Borlo Dra Savage Dragon's effect's gonna activate, as well as uh, O line to get you some tokens. So we'll grab Aurora Dawn, equip it to Borlo Savage Dragon, we'll move this up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll get another token, use a token in Despot001 to go into your Herald of the Arclight, and then use the Soul Shape Force to go into CDI. Um, and then during the end phase, use the Bird of Sovereignty's effect to go into the Barrier Statue of the Stormlight. Essentially, we end on, this has three negates, but it's only once per turn. One, two, three uh, negates, as well as locking your opponent um, into wind monsters. Now, the unfortunate part, the real unfortunate part, is this is not in the extra monster zone. But that's fine because you've got three negates and a skilled, uh, not skilled, macrocosmos on the field. So it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Um, and then I do have one more combo, um, but I'll save that for another video. I am going to do one test hand completely random so you guys can see how that works as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle, shuffle up the deck, and we'll be right back. All right, I've got the deck all shuffled up here. Let's go ahead and draw five. All right, Parallel Exceed. Oster the South Wind. Bore of the Spear, okay, pretty good. Uh, Allure of Darkness, that's pretty good. And Black Whirlwind. So, this is, what can I do with this? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I've got it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, go ahead and activate Allure of Darkness. Let's see what we get here. Uh, the goal is to banish Bora, so it really doesn't matter what we draw. All right, Floodgate, that's a uh, brick. And Crystal Crack it down. Okay, um, we can banish either one of these two. It really doesn't matter. We're just gonna banish Bora. Um, cool. Go ahead and activate Black Whirlwind. And then Normal Summon Auster the South Wind. I'm gonna move this up for you guys. Uh, use Auster's effect to special summon the Bora. Um,. And let's go ahead and special summon Chris just for the shits and giggles. Uh, and right here, we will go into Force Tricks. Use Force Tricks' effect. It doesn't really matter what we detach here. Yeah. Um, yeah, Force Tricks' effect. 
making sure I'm doing this the right way, that's all. <clears throat> uh, grab your singing lanius. Special summon the singing lanius, and then uh, link these two off. Go into Wise Tricks. Wise Tricks effect is going to activate on summon, and then you can chain Parallel Exceed. Parallel Exceed's effect. Um, well, hold on. First, we resolve Wise Tricks. Here, we'll go for <coughs> uh, Zephyrus the Elite, and then Parallel Exceed's effect will resolve, and we'll get another copy of Parallel. Cool. We can overlay the parallel exceeds into uh, trap tricks for Flegia. <clears throat> overlay these two into the second copy of Force Tricks. Use Force Tricks effect to detach the Zephyros. Um, and we'll go ahead and grab, I guess. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Actually, kind of does. Let's grab. Um, I forgot something. When we normal summoned Oster, we're supposed to search off of uh, Black Whirlwind, and we never did. Um, so we'll search, we'll kind of backtrack a little bit. We'll search for Harmont in the Dust, and then we'll also search for, where are you? Uh, Borrow the Spear. Uh, Wise Tricks effect will activate. It is mandatory. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we'll get Soul Shade Force and set that to the field. Now we can use Zephyros' effect in the graveyard, bounce the Black Roll One to our hand to special summon himself, and then special summon Bora the Spear. Um, and uh, let's see, we can overlay again. Uh, into Abyss Dweller, or we can start Link Climbing. Um, there's a couple different things we can do here. What I'm going to do, though... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can go into Abyss Dweller here. Yeah. Abyss Dweller. Um, and then link off these two. And right here we'll go into, well, we'll, we'll put Abyss Dweller over here. Um, and then we'll bo go into uh, Bird of Sovereign too. Um, now we can activate our Rank Up Magic Soul Shave Force. We'll go use Force Tricks to go into CDI. <clears throat> we can set that to the field. And then uh, during the end phase, we can special summon the barrier statue. So, it's still pretty good. It's not like ideal. I have none of the synchros on board. But, I've still got an Omni Negate, a Graveyard Negate, um, Affleck. Floodgate trap hole, so like I kind of have two two activations of Ecclesia here, um, and uh, I'm also locking my opponent into uh, wind monsters. So that's still pretty good. Um, we paid forty four life, forty two hundred life points uh, because we did Zephyros first. Um, you can also do, uh, instead of going into Abyss Dweller, you could have linked into, like, uh, or you can you could have special summoned Harmontan, link into Union Carrier, um, and you could have did the Buster Lock if you wanted to, you would just need a dark target on the field to equip it to. Um, there's a couple different ways you can play this deck. 
This one was a little weird though because I'm not used to not playing the synchros. Not seeing my synchros or uh, my jet synchrons at all was uh, definitely new to me. I don't think I've ever seen a hand like that. I kind of had to come up with that on the fly and uh, put this in the wrong spot. So, yeah, that's that. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, sorry, it was kind of rough. I dropped the card and I completely forgot that it was supposed to be in the deck until I was doing the combo. Um, I've got a bit of a cough and a little bit of a raspy voice. Um, <clears throat> don't worry, not Corona. I already got checked. Um, this is just a common cough with the change of the weather. I do have some pretty bad allergies. But um, anyways, yeah, like I said, um, if you want to see more deck pro profiles like this, uh, go ahead and leave a like, thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I try to do videos um, at least every weekend. Um, I will sometimes upload videos during the week. Sometimes I'll take weeks off. Um, follow my social media. All the links will be down in the description below. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, what tech choices uh, would you have gone with instead? Um, if you have some suggestions, uh, what do you think I should cut out for the hand traps to try to make this, you know, kind of competitive? Um, I know the deck's going to be way better when Tri Brigade comes out. I've already got my tankies sitting over here to the side. They're not secrets, but they're supers. Um, just waiting for that to come up, and uh, the deck will evolve. Um, but, like I did say earlier, if you want to see the... Um, Time Thief Numeron deck that I'm working on, um, hit that thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell to be notified when I do upload the video. Um, if we can get to 10 likes on this video, I'll upload the uh, profile, alright? And uh, you know I'm going to be sharing this video around on Facebook. Uh, if you follow me and uh, came from Facebook. I've also got a Facebook page for the channel. Um, it's called LTX Prisco on YouTube. Um, you can feel free to add me as a friend on Facebook as well. I don't really care um, if you found any of my videos or if you want to hit me up and uh, talk about some deck discussions. There's a Discord link down in the description below as well uh, that you can use to message me and we can chat there rather than in Facebook groups because honestly I really don't like Facebook. Um, I use it for family, uh, I use it for my friends, um, and I use it to promote my my videos, but uh, other than that, I don't really care for how it works, and I don't really like the, the Zuckerberg anyway, so, you know, it is what it is. Guys, stay safe, stay healthy, try not to get a cough like me, because then people are going to stare at you weird, especially in these weird times, um, and uh, yeah, wear a mask, I. Because who doesn't want to look like fucking Kakashi? Am I, am I right or am I right? Anyways, peace the fuck out. I love you guys.